There's a new treatment for COVID-19 that's showing great promise in keeping people out of the hospital. News Channel anchor Scott Hennessy explains the science behind a medicine preventing severe cases of COVID for those at the highest risk. It's really the only medicine where we have evidence to use before somebody gets sick enough to require oxygen. Cottage Hospital infectious disease doctor David Fisk is calling monoclonal antibodies an important tool in the fight against COVID-19. The FDA granted emergency use authorization for these new treatments back in November. What they do is they actually bind and stick directly to the virus so they then prevent the virus from attacking and entering and infecting our human lung cells. Federal reports early evidence that monoclonal antibodies can reduce the amount of coronavirus in a patient's body, leading to milder symptoms and a faster recovery. You can kind of think of it as neutralizing the virus. Sarah Osalami is the pharmacy director at Lompoc Valley Medical Center. Have they shown any negative effects? Oh, we haven't had any um, severe reactions from them, no. And most all the patients that we've been tracking um, have not been hospitalized. Monoclonal antibodies are delivered through what's called an IV infusion. The process takes at least 15 minutes with the medicine injected into a COVID patient with mild to moderate symptoms. The big factor is time. They don't work for those whose symptoms have gotten worse about 10 days after infection. And the treatment is especially effective for people considered high risk, seniors, people with obesity and other pre-existing conditions. The way that monoclonal antibody infusions work at Marion is Normally, a primary care provider will actually refer their patient to come to the ER to get that infusion. In Santa Maria, a small number of people have been treated at Marion Regional Medical Center since January. Dr. Gonzalez says it's too early to see any trends, but she's cautiously optimistic in the data that exists. And so we look at the studies that have been done for monoclonal antibody infusions, which are small groups, and we see promise, but we're still waiting to see what happens um, once we try it with larger groups of patients. In Santa Barbara, Dr. Fisk at Cottage says he's seen a notable reduction in hospital admissions for the 200 people they've treated and no severe reactions. We're encouraged with these. We realize we don't have all the answers on these drugs yet and that evidence is evolving on them uh, over time. The drug is free with the federal government covering the cost. Over 600,000 monoclonal antibodies have been distributed to healthcare facilities nationwide. Top federal health officials urge patients who meet the criteria to talk to their doctor and, if qualified, seek out the treatment. In Santa Barbara County, I'm News Channel anchor Scott Hennessy.